Hello everybody, Boylon here and welcome back to another video on Marvel Strike Force. Today we're going to be talking about something that's both dear to my heart and really disappointing. We're here to talk about Nowhere and Sinister Six, but particularly why the Nowhere team has been made obsolete in record time. Yes, if you have not built Nowhere already, do not do that. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you shouldn't. And why basically the Sinister Six team does everything that Nowhere can do, but a lot better. If you've seen any of my videos over the last week or so, you, you've seen what Sinister Six can do. And in a lot of places, they can just basically replace Nowhere for every place that they would have been used. And we're going to talk about those. We're going to talk about why this is disappointing. And we're going to talk about the future and a little bit. And also in relation to Mephisto. Because a lot of people did think that maybe you might need this team for that, but it seems that we don't as well. So <laughs> if you're ready to go, everybody, then let's boil this down. And uh, so this is just where I want to start very quickly here off with the video is uh, the preview blog. Now, uh, Depending on the release order of my videos, I plan to do a discussion piece on the blog itself, but I want to use this portion of it for this video here. This is the uh, the news about Dark Dimension 7, particularly that it's going to include Mephisto. We weren't sure, obviously, because the trials that we have right now, um, you know, have reference to Mephisto, right? And so some of us thought that maybe by the end of all four trials, there would be an Apocalypse-like thing. It wouldn't be like Apocalypse because they did make a statement in the past saying that they wouldn't force you into like 23 characters. But both because what they say is often subject to change, I wasn't willing to say for certainty that either Nova or uh, the Nowhere team would have been required or not for whatever this was going to be. And so the fact that it's Dark Dimension 7 basically means it's not, you know, the, the requirements are down here. Now they don't make it very clear the character requirements are down here. They don't make it clear basically what you're going to need though, like your tier 19 or, or whatever other additional requirements there may or may not be as of recording this video anyways. But we know that we don't need the team. They're not forcing us into either. You probably build Nova anyways, actually. Uh, so this is a caveat. When I mean the nowhere team, I mean the rest of them. Most of you are going to build Nova anyways for Dark Dimension 6. You're probably still going to build him for Dark Dimension 7 uh, because of the legendary lane. He's just still the newest team. He's got a positive uh, battlefield effect, so he's still good. But the rest of the team you don't need to bother for. And actually, I'm really happy that I didn't actually spend a lot of time doing that. And so the Nowhere team has been made obsolete in record time. What do I mean by that? And why is it obsolete? Well, I just want to kind of pivot to a few photos. I want to kind of just... Take a look at the team in general. So there was this photo here. This was sent to me uh, by, I believe, my Discord mod. And this is uh, Sinister Six with uh, with Green Goblin and Craven, really low gear tier, like like 60k ish, 50k Craven. And they beat a 1.4 million. Maybe I need to zoom in a little bit. A 1.4 million Nowhere team in Room Three. Okay, I know that Nowhere is not a Cosmic Crucible team. And yes, there's like green goblins in here. They're not even that big, to be honest. 500k is super low. Gear tier 16, yes, but overall power is pretty low. And they managed to beat a trip, almost a triple punch up. There's almost a 400,000 Thor, gear tier 18 Thor, Infinity War. And he did nothing. Like, it's just, it's just shocking to me personally. Like, yeah, I know they're not a crucible team. And this is only three out of five of Crucible, but this this kind of showcases both why Sinister Six is absolutely amazing in like everywhere you can use them, but also that nowhere kind of fell flat a little bit as well. If they can't even do that, the other picture that I want to show you is this is Alliance War, uh, but this is more about Sinister Six. Six hundred and thirty k. Yes, there was a loss of Craven. He's not. He's not. You know, if you had a lecture on there, probably would have been a little bit easier against a one point four million. I'm rounding Gamma team. Huge, huge punch up two and a half times in this instance. They're a little bit higher, you know, than the Crucible team. But they're, you know, I would say that Gamma in war is way better than Nowhere in Crucible, right? Because Nowhere is a war team. And it's just it's just honestly shocking the amount of punch up. And this is normal, like two to three times punch ups on a lot of teams or more is just completely normal for the Sinister Six. 
Could the Nowhere team do this? Maybe. I actually can't say that for You know, maybe someone else can let me know in the comments down below because you guys know I didn't build Nowhere. So I, I'm actually not sure how much they can punch up. But it's it's less to do about that and whether or not they can do it or not. It's more to do with the fact that Sinister Six does what they were meant to do, but better, in my opinion. And, and definitely in Crucible, way better. So you have a Swiss Army Knife with Sinister Six in both game modes and other game modes as well, actually. Dark Dimension 6, they're way better than the Nowhere characters. And also, I heard through the grapevine that Sinister Six can also do Incursion to tech. So I think that's pretty crazy. There's four tech characters uh, right here, actually, in fact. And then a fifth one with Spider Slayer, if you're able to do that. But I think that some people are using Kestrel or or someone else in place of the fifth member. I, I haven't done it. I've just heard that it's possible. I've, I've seen some examples of that. My point is, is that Nowhere has not even been out that long. Nova was the first. We're going to zoom in a little bit. This is my character spreadsheet. Nova was released as the first trial character. Uh, I don't actually have the exact date of the, the trial, but actually do it. Maybe I do. Event dates. Do I have it? Yeah, no, May 19th. Oh, wait, that can't be right. Oh, is that right? No, that can't be right. June 19th? I, I probably meant to put June 19th based on what I'm seeing here. Uh, so it's probably June 19th, the first trial event. So, okay, we're in December now. So uh, July, August, September, October, November, December. We're like six months, basically, from when this team came out. And they're, I would say they're basically shelved. I would say at this point, don't touch them. The only character that you should be building is Nova, because I, I do feel as a standalone character, especially with a battlefield effect, which is very unique. And the fact that they've separated Dark Dimension six characters out a little bit as far as legendary characters go, he's probably he's still going to be in there for now um, because he's got those unique effects. But the rest of the team, like, yeah, they're farmable now. You can farm Korg, you can farm Cosmo, you can farm Star-Lord Annihilation and Thorn Infinity War in Nexus Hard Mode, right? But it's just you don't need them. And as of recording this video, we still have the Black Hat showcase, go, or Black Hat trial event still going on. It might, might be over by the time this video comes out. Uh, but I've basically been able to do everything that I need to do with Sinister Six. And I don't know if this is them kind of shooting themselves in the foot a little bit when it came to uh, this is my D9 run that I'm like haven't quite finished yet. But anyways, uh, the Note 10, you know, with the whole nowhere and or Sinister Six. Now, what they could have done, I suppose, in the same vein as uh, Green Goblin was forcing, you know, basically uh, Nowhere on one, Sinister Six on one, and then Nowhere and Sinister Six, something like that. To, to force you to still have to build them, if you wanted to perform a difficulty 8+, plus, that's kind of gone by the wayside. They can't go back and do that now. So they, they've shot themselves in the foot that basically the next trial team that came out after Black Cat, the third one anyways, with Green Goblin, right? was Sinister Six, which you can then go back and use instead of having to use Nowhere in the Black Cat Trial. So why would I go and build the team from the first trial when I can use the better team from the third trial and it does everything that I need and more? Like I said, Swiss Army Knife, I cannot stress enough how insane the Sinister Six team really is. And I've been able to use them everywhere. I just wanted to bring up my Sinister Six roster, actually. And then we're going to go back to Nowhere a little bit. <clears throat> So Sinister Six here, I have a lot of them built up. Now, some of this is from the past. You guys know I maxed out Swarm. I've actually used them in, I used them in Dark Dimension Six City. It did really well, but I'm not really, this is not part of the sort of the main Sinister Six, Superior Six at this time. Uh, we're talking Doc Ock, we're talking Craven. You know, maybe we're talking these two characters later on. Uh, we're talking Vulture and Mysterio. Insane reworks. These characters had the gold standard of reworks. Honestly, this is probably the best rework, maybe better than Gamora's in powered form. But Gamora for the Infinity Watch team was my previous gold standard for reworks. Like, I think that she had a really cool one. Uh, she changed forms. She had uh, a really powerful rework in general. Really enjoyed that. So between uh, Gamora and the new Sinister Six, this is the gold standard for reworks. And we'll see if it kind of meets that going forward with other characters. And then, so the team itself, Green Goblin Classic, Doc Ock, Mysterio Vulture, and Kraven. And then maybe Electro, Craven and Cosmic Crucible at least, and then maybe Electro in, in Alliance War. I think that's a little bit of a better setup. 
That being said, you know, there is that mix and match potential. Yes, I know I ignore Rhino and Shocker most of the time and people said they're a dark horse, but I just, you know, I need to cut it off somewhere because I just I'm not I don't have enough money resources to to build every single character and i'm having basically i'm I'm able to do pretty much 98 percent of things with these sets of characters can i say the same about nowhere i don't know because i don't have the build but from what i've been talking about with talking with other people i would say the answer is no and as far as dark dimension six goes the other thing is like okay well you know how many of these characters are good in say dark dimension six or future dark dimension seven and the fact that the Sinister Six characters are pretty much all city, I think gives them a shoe in honestly to build them, not only because they're already good for everything that I just said, but because that you can take them all the way up for both Dark Dimension 6 at 95 or Dark Dimension 7 in the future at level 100. Now, this is me kind of predicting that city character releases tend to be uh, far and few between. And so I think that some of these or maybe even all of them are still going to go with you to level 100. For absolutely, Doc Ock and Green Goblin are still going to be going with you in that legendary section. Like you'd be this insane combination. My legendary Dark Dimension Six videos have probably already come out by this point, and I do have Super Scroll. And the other characters, Mysterio is a bit more expensive to gear, but at the very least, you're probably going to see characters like Craven. You're going to see characters like Vulture, and you know you might even be able to get uh, Lizard because he's bio, right? So you have like a skill tech bio. And then it goes right to Robbie, right? You know, because he's just really insane. I, I doubt he's going to get dropped. But you're going to have at least, you know, three or four of the Sinister Six members coming with you into Dark Dimension 6 and 7. What can I say about Nowhere? Let, let's just pivot there for a minute because this is a Nowhere video. Yes, I know I don't have them built. Other than Cosmo, I built up a tiny bit just to see because he was the support character of the team. And I wanted to pair him up with Nova in Alliance War. But the rest of them are at level one. They're at level one. This is the first I got it. This is the first team in a long time where I've literally benched and left at level one. And my gameplay has not changed one bit like it doesn't matter. And I have to say that I still despite blue five ions being an alliance war, I would say that alliance war is the least important game mode in the game right now. OK, you know, it is it is the at bottom of the barrel. It's the bottom tier, despite all of the changes that they make to it. It's just that trying to influence your turnout in Alliance War is a lot harder than every other game mode, whether it's raids, whether it's Cosmic Crucible, because there's 24 people of you in your alliance. And whether or not you have a good Alliance War setup, it doesn't mean that everyone else is going to have that. So unless you're in a hardcore alliance that takes this super seriously, this is not a team that you even need to consider. And even then, I would I would argue that you don't need to, because now that we know that we don't need this team in 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 full for uh for mephisto th th this is all the more reason why you shouldn't be building this honestly <sighs> none of them have good enough standalone kits to warrant it some people took star lord annihilation to dark dimension six congratulations you know like let me know you know how well that worked out for you that being said i did take sylvie and that didn't you know was not amazing so yeah a lot of us took like took a hit in one character where it was kind of like eh, you know wasn't that good we learned from our mistakes that being said like the rest of the, this team requires too much of their own uh, team in order to be good. Whereas I don't think that's the case for the Sinister or Superior Six. Vulture, amazing standalone, honestly, still. You could just take him into Dark Dimension Six City and, and, and get dividends out of that. I don't know if I can say the same out of any of these other characters. But I, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. The good thing is that this team was a mixed origin team. It's not like you stacked up like Mystic on every single character. In fact, I don't think any of oh sorry thor that's right i was like i don't think any of them are mystic but thor is mystic and uh, a lot of them are actually bio so maybe you used up a lot of bio gear in order to get these characters geared up if you took a lot of them up uh, especially maybe star lord or thor to uh, dark dimension six or gear 18 or anything pretty high the fact is is that it costs a lot of gold to max a character out and i'm going to take Korg just for example here probably don't even have enough but if you want to go straight to 95 it's 17 mil almost 17 million and then if you want to add the gear and the abilities on top, you're looking at 20 ish million gold. You know, that's a lot per character that now I do not have. I, I didn't spend anywhere close to 60 million anyways on the other three characters that I left on the bench at level one. More and more, I think we need to start thinking about characters that can be benched. 
I know it's incredibly difficult and I know it's a bit of an unpopular decision to take to say, hey, you know, uh, leave this character at level one. Don't build this character. And maybe it's easy for me to say after the fact. But I, I just want to kind of share with you guys my thoughts and also why it just did not impact my gameplay at all by not having them. You should still build Nova, though, but the rest of the team do not. And you can leave them at level one and you'll do just fine. Instead, build Sinister Six because you're going to get a lot more value out of this team and everywhere that you can use them. Pretty much every single game mode in this game, all of the counters that Nowhere would have had, like Infestation. That was like the main one at the time when they came out was like Infestation, right? Like when this team came out and then Big Time Spidey came out after uh, Nowhere and Nowhere basically countered a Big Time Spidey in the Infestation team. Uh, and, and that was about it, really. Like, they, yeah, OK, I, th I think they countered Gamma. But I mean, a lot of teams kind of counter Gamma at this point now. Gamma even counters Gamma. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. As far as what Nowhere can do in Alliance War, Sinister Six does exactly the same or better or faster. That's what I've tried to get out there. And I hope that some of this helps because uh, I had a lot of people asking me whether or not Nowhere is still worth building. And that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to make it abundantly clear why you should not. If you have been, stop now. Do not put any more investment in the team. It's not worth it. Start with the newer characters. Think about those and go forward from there. So that's going to be the end of the video, everyone. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boylan, signing out.